Yeah, by John, let me take it to France. Diamonds, how get it? Ice out again. Bit the rocket, the climber, and yeah. Niggas on top of these niggas, now with it. Bitch, I love money, I love the digits. Niggas look up to me, cause I go get a little bitch. She is sassy, me, and she with it. Okay, so after the last one went down so well, I thought I would come back and do another leftist reacts to Tom McDonald. It's a perfect title for YouTube, that one. And I know the, the last video probably pissed off a lot of Tom McDonald fans, but it did also start a lot of good discussion in the comment section. Lots of people being very reasonable and constructive and just explaining their point. And, and yeah, I, hopefully we can have the same in this video. Um, you guys just, you know, I'm, I'm sure you'll disagree with me a lot of stuff in this reaction, but you can go down and let me know in the comments. I tried to reply as to as many people as possible in the last reaction, and I think that there was some good discussions that went on. Um, there was also some very interesting comments that had where there was like a, some fully grown adults coming into my comment section and getting triggered by what I was saying, a 17 year old kid and somehow I was the snowflake in that situation. I can assure you I'm, I'm definitely on the the less snowflakey side of the left. I, I tend to, that tends to be the thing I hate the most about the, the left in general is the, the snowflakey like sensitivity of the left. I think I'm I'm very much on the the other side of the left in terms of in terms of that kind of stuff. And this one, possibly this track could be an interesting one to go through that one as well. So yeah, as I said, I'll be replying to as many comments as possible. I think uh, something that I got a lot of comments about in the last one was abortion, and that's obviously gonna be a very difficult topic to talk about, and I can get very morbid talking about it in general, I think. A very controversial one. But I, I got a lot of comments about that. I think some of you misinterpreted what I was saying. Obviously, I was talking about the the stat where it's like 97% of abortions are done when the baby's the size of a grape or before. I wasn't saying by that that the baby, when it's the size of a grape, is not alive, or that it's ideal to have an abortion at that age. Like, ideally, there's no abortions, right? It's just, that would be the ideal society, but we don't live in an ideal society. My point was just that at that point in the pregnancy, I don't think uh, the government should be involved in it. I think it should be the parent's choice, and I think, yeah, I think I would defend the, the parent's choice to have an abortion at that stage. I think late term abortions get a bit crazy and I think that, that stuff kind of does make me a bit uncomfortable. Like, yeah, some of the stories you hear about that. But I know some of them are mostly of, uh, to save the woman's life. But yeah, sometimes it gets a bit a bit weird when people are like militantly defending a 24 week abortion. I think that gets a bit weird. But in general, I think the government shouldn't be involved in, in that kind of process until a lot later on. Um, but yeah, this track, Fake woke. I've, I think I heard about this song when it came out and I don't think I listened to it. I might have watched a reaction to it, but it was a long time ago, so I can't remember it. But yeah, Tom McDonald, Fake Woke. He has some great titles for his songs, doesn't he? Snowflakes and Fake Woke. Let me know if there's more Tom McDonald songs I should listen to. Um, and uh, yeah, I can go through like a, a whole catalogue of them. I, I think I've heard like two or three before I did the reaction to Snowflakes. So yeah, I, I've probably got a lot more that I could, I could listen to. But yeah, let's get into this Tom McDonald, Fake Woke. <laughs> I think it's crazy I'm the one who they labeled as controversial And Cardi B is the role model for 12 year old girls There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard But if I mention race in a song I'm scared I'll get killed for it It's backwards, it's getting next So see, like, this is, I what I said in the last reaction as well Tom McDonald spits facts sometimes Like yes, I think he, I think he says a lot of dumb shit But he also says a lot of shit that he's spot on like, Cardi B being a role model for 12 year old girls I don't, I don't think many people would say that's ideal Um, and then uh, what was it? The rappers can talk about Xanax, but if he talks about race, it's like he's scared he got killed. Yeah, but I, I, this is again. I had a lot of people in the last video saying, "Oh, like, don't talk about politics. I don't want it to get like too serious on the channel. It could get like dangerous for you." It's like, bro, it, it's sad that we live in a world where just talking about politics is like controversial. You should be and and talking about drugs isn't <laughs> like politics should be something that everyone has a discussion about and everyone is able to talk about and able to express their opinions. That's that's the way that opinions are formed in, in society and it's it's we especially in America like the UK is bad obviously but I feel like America has a very very heated political climate like yeah you you, you mention anything slightly and there'll be like a gang of people coming after you so yeah he's making some good points already but a billboard but if I mention race in a song I'm scared I'll get killed for it. it's backwards it's getting exponentially dumb it's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun Eminem used to gay bash and murderers Okay, yeah, so uh, I, I've had, I had, again, I had a lot of comments in the last video saying Tom McDonald doesn't always like, like he's, like, he's not on a specific side, and he, he was talking or making certain points on the side of, uh, on, like, against gun control in the last video, but obviously he's making a point, not, not necessarily for gun control, but like on the, slightly on the other side, so it's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. That is a, a weird reality. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Yeah, I feel like in the last video I might have, like, he took what Tom McDonald said a bit too literally sometimes. I, I, some of you are explaining he uses a lot of like irony or just makes a point to 
show like hypocrisy in a certain situation he doesn't necessarily like believe every single word that's coming out of his mouth to like a full literal extent Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom And now he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump We're ashamed to be American You should probably love it Cause you have the right to hate it And not get stoned to death in public As children we were taught how to walk and talk But Again <laughs> oh, I'm gonna end up with like a 20 minute video again But this is this is a point of Tom McDonough reactions Especially like a, a leftist reacting to them There's gonna be a lot of points to pick up on this And so far I've agreed with everything he said Which I wasn't expecting But yeah um, Eminem used to gay bash Now he doesn't want his fans if they vote for Trump very fair point. Eminem's done some some fox up shit in the past, um, and then yeah, he's he's obviously I, I, I'm not sure Eminem. He's a, he's got a strange mind. And what was the what was the last point? It was like oh yeah, you should be glad that we have free speech because you know you you're allowed to say that you hate America again. One of the things like I said about the left, I don't like the kind of sensitivity that leads to lots of people being like cancelled or that like cancel culture become like a very uh, thrown about term nowadays but yeah I, again like uh, free speech i know at the moment being a right winger is seen as less socially acceptable it could very very easily be the other way around a hundred percent i could be someone who is seen as like the crazy person in society who needs to be like stoned to death in public so i will always defend anyone's freedom of speech because it can very easily be turned around on me want fans if they voted for trump we're ashamed to be american you should probably love it because you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public as children we were taught how to walk and talk but the system wants adults to sit down and shut up cancel culture runs the world now the planet went crazy label everything we say is homophobic or racist if you're white then you're privileged guilty by association all our childhood heroes got me too or they're rapists they never freed the slaves they realized that they don't need the change they gave us tiny screens we think we free because we can't see the cage they knew that race war would be the game they need to play for people to big teams they use the media to feed the flame see this is tom mcdonald again on race i feel like sometimes he does hit the nail on the head as well like the race war is not actually like the people at the top of politics and the media doing like this race war stuff they don't give a shit like they're just doing it because it's a good way to divide people and it's a good way for people not to talk about the issues that genuinely matter i would say that issue is capitalism i know lots of other people would say the issue is socialism but like the fact is it seems like generally in the political climate, and again, I feel like especially in America, so much focus is on things like race and gender and sex. And it's not on stuff like the economy, which is stuff that politics should really be about. That should be the primary focus of politics. And it tends to not be. It tends to be stuff like race. And I do feel like people at the top use the race war and use race as something to distract people from the problems that are actually the bigger problems that we should be talking about. So yeah, like again, Tom McDonald's saying some some woke shit here. Even though the title's fake woke, he's he's been pretty woke. I know so many people hate that word, but yeah, Tom McDonald, he's woke. Be the game they need to play for people to big teams. They use the media to feed the flame. Hmm. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings. They know they want. <laughs> Got the little Ben Shapiro line in there. Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> Bro, I've, I, I had a couple people DM me saying Tom McDonald's hooks are terrible. I actually think his hooks are very good. <laughs> like, they're catchy as fuck. Like, yeah, like, bro, his, his hooks are very good. Fake facts don't care about your I think it's crazy how these people screaming facts, but they fake woke. Hate their neighbor because he wears a mask or he stays home. Has a daughter, but his favorite artist said he slays hoes. Picks her up from school, music slaps on the way home. Censorship's an issue because they choose what they erase. There's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate. I think black lives... Again, bro, I will always make this point. As a leftist, I feel like, generally, the left has a very... Um, sometimes it takes the, the, the free speech thing to an extreme and goes like, yeah, we're just gonna make a law against hate speech. We have hate speech laws in the UK. Again, they're not like, they're not genuinely damaging. I'm, I don't know, I, like, I, I haven't heard of like a high profile case of someone being arrested for hate speech. I'm sure there's been, oh, there was the guy who like trained his dog to do a Nazi salute, wasn't there? Again, like you shouldn't be arrested for that. I will always defend someone's right to train their dog to do a Nazi salute. Like, yeah, it's not, it's not great, but that's not, it's not the government's position to step in. And yeah, hate speech laws, I, I'm not like, scared about it or as scared about it as some other people but i think i will always defend people's right to free speech again i feel like it's a it's a worrying path the left sometimes goes down and 
does lead to a lot of people who probably would be leftists in another situation not being leftists because they worry about stuff like that, the, the censorship and the, the hate speech. And I think, especially in America, again, I feel like there's a lot of people in America who would be leftists if the left just focused on economic issues. But the left gets so distracted with social issues that they miss out on a lot of their supporter base. Matter was the stupidest name When the system's screwing everyone exactly the same I just want to spend Thanksgiving Day with food and my family Without being accused of celebrating native casualties We got so divided it's black and white and political Republicans are bigots, libtards if you're liberal There's riots in our streets and it's just getting worse Y'all screaming deep on the police, y'all are genius for sure They're underfunded already, they're way too busy to work Order food and call the cops, see what reaches you first Segregation ended, that's a line Yeah, I, it's like Again, the defund the police thing, I had a couple comments about that, um, and I tried to reply to them. That Again, I, I, what I mentioned was that I think the left inherently always comes up with stupid ideas because the left's position as the, like, the... And I know lots of people think the left, the left is, like, the dominant force in America. The, the Democrats aren't really leftists. There's some leftists in the Democrats, but, like, Joe Biden isn't a leftist, for example. But the, the left as the, the secondary political movement in the world is always going to come up with it be, be the ones who are responsible for coming up with like radical ideas and radical reforms and they're always going to come up with shit ideas like in inherently as they are coming up with so many ideas there's going to be some shit ones in there and defund the police i think is probably i i don't know enough about what the defund the police thing was i i haven't looked into it what they actually meant by defund the police i'm sure it wasn't as bad as some people were making out but i know it's it's happened in some cities in america and hasn't gone too well and yeah, I would agree, sometimes police are underfunded. In itself, there was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help. They knew that racism was hot if they designed it to sell. We buy up every single box and divide us ourselves. They so fake woke, facts don't care about feelings. They know they won't tell me what to believe. Bro, I, I've actually agreed with everything Tom McDonald has said so far in this song. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> Definitely not what I was expecting. Yeah, I, again, like like you said in the last video, I feel like I took what he was saying a bit too literally. I know he does lots of stuff to like cause discussion and also just to prove a point, not necessarily because he like genuinely believes in it. And I think that's proven because I disagree with most of what he said in the last song, but I've agreed with every point he's made, I think, pretty much in this song. Yeah. peace and wonder why it isn't working that's like sleeping with a football team to try and be a virgin politicians are for sale and someone always makes the purchase but you and i cannot afford it our democracy is worthless if a man has meant to bro he's making so many good points in this track politicians are for sale again uh, <laughs> i don't want to like keep shitting on america but i feel like again in america more than the uk and i'm only speaking about america and the uk because those are the two countries i I don't know about the political system. I don't really know about like any other European countries or, or anything about the political system. Um, but in the UK and more so in America, politicians are influenced a lot by money. And I know lobbying can get a bit crazy in America. I think there's lots of, yeah, lots of the stuff that goes on in lobbying in terms of American lobbying is, is actually just illegal in the UK. So it's, it's very different to understand like how American lobbying works because to us in the UK, it is just like illegal. But yeah, politicians could just be bought off by money. And someone always makes the purchase. But you and I cannot afford it. Our democracy is worthless. If a man has mental illness, call him crazy. Say it silently. When country's going crazy, we accept it as society. Get sick and take a pill. When the side effects get you high, you get addicted like these rappers dying, fighting with sobriety. Censoring the facts turns our children into idiots. They claim it's for our safety. I'll tell you what it really is. Removing information. You know how I was talking about the left winning over lots of people if they didn't focus on some of the, like the stupid social issues? I think Tom McDonough would be one of those people. I think he's making lots of points about, like, in, in support of the left, but only economically, if you know what I mean. He's saying poor people can't have an influence on politics. They're using race to distract us from the, the real issue, which is the system. Bro, he's, he's making lots of points about why the, the general system of money having the most influence in society over politicians and the general system is there to stop poor people progressing. He's making lots of points in support of that general argument. So I think in some ways Tom McDonald would be a leftist if the left wasn't focused on lots of the stupid shit, which is the stuff that I was talking about. 
And again, I feel like there's lots of people in that situation who realise that poor people are just getting fucked by the system every day, but don't want to vote for a, a Democrat, or the Democrats aren't left, but don't want to vote for, like, the left in general because of some of the stupid shit they say. And probably will be more likely to vote for Bernie Sanders as well. That empowers all the citizens. The truth doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate. They're trying to change amen to amen and women. How do we let them make praying a microaggression? Instead of asking God for the strength to keep winning, we cheat to get ahead and then we ask him for forgiveness. Feminism used to be the most righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. I don't trust anyone who bleeds for a week and don't die. I'm just kidding. But everything else that I said is right. <laughs> I don't trust anyone who bleeds for a week and doesn't die. Bro, that whole, that he he one hundred percent got cancelled on Twitter for that line. Yeah, the feminism thing. I think it's always a a difficult one. I feel like sometimes feminism does get misrepresented by the media because it's very easy to focus on lots of the stupid people in feminism and lots of the the stupid feminists. I think I, I think the majority of feminists are probably quite normal women who just think equality is a good thing. But the problem is the media likes to focus on the feminists who are the crazy ones, and I think that tends to be the problem. I think. Most feminists are just normal people who want equality and are just, yeah, just normal people living in society. But feminism's got a, like a, a dirty term to it, I think, because of the media wanting to like, well, not the media wanting to, but the media gets more clicks and stuff like that if they show a crazy feminist than if they show just like a, the normal girl from down the road who's a feminist and wants equality. They so fake woke, fags don't care about feelings, they know they won't. Pleasantly surprised by that. Like I said, I agreed with. I think I think pretty much every point he made, I agreed with. And like I said, I feel like I might have been a bit too quick to jump the gun on some of the points he was making last last song. I feel like I hadn't I get like I hadn't listened to enough of his music to fully understand his positions on stuff. And it does seem like he's not. He doesn't say everything literally, and he was using some stuff to just point out contradictions. And like I said, I feel like he 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 has the potential to be a leftist. <laughs> I know lots of his fans definitely were like me saying that, but I feel like. In terms of economic, not in terms of leftist socialist policies, I mean leftist social policies, but in terms of leftist economic policies, in terms of helping the poor not get fucked by society and changing the system so it doesn't just, like, empower the rich to make all the decisions. I feel like he made some points in favour of the left, which was interesting. I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah, Tom McDonald. I, I have... I have gained a bit of respect for him. I quite like that song. I felt like there was a lot of good points in there. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I thought this was video was going to be a lot of stuff where I disagree with him. I actually have slightly changed my opinion on him. Yeah, I quite like that song. So if you again, like if you if you said if you disagree with anything I said in this video, I'm not sure there won't there won't be as much because I didn't disagree with what Tom was saying. But if you disagree with anything, you want to have a discussion in the comments. Go down there. Like I said, I'll try to reply to as many people as possible. I like doing these reactions, so let me know if there's more Tom McDonald songs for me to react to. But apart from that, I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>